Okay, let's look at another very common file system type. Let's do an MKDIR ISO underscore folder. Here I am in home student. I am the root user. Welcome to part five of the series. I'm going to CD ISO folder. I'm going to do an outlast. You'll see, lo and behold, we have a blank folder. Let's go ahead and pop open Firefox. And let's Google for uh, download tiny Linux. Let's pull down a Linux file. We have lots of ISO files, ISO files. And the story of how ISO files sort of uh, came to be, that CD-ROM file system, is an interesting one. And here it is. This is It's called the El Torito uh, standard. And it's called the El Torito CD uh, DVD extension uh, to ISO 9660.iso um, because it originated in Irvine, California in a restaurant called El Torito. And the, the guys that worked on this, that developed the standard, they, they would have lunch at El Torito. And as they worked on the CD-ROM ISO standard, you know, they like this... Um, Restaurant so much they named the standard after the name the standard after it. Excuse me. So we do have the El Torito uh, CD-ROM ISO standard named after Mexican restaurant in Irvine, California. So here I am at uh, Tiny Linux Downloads, and I've got a uh, core here. It's only 11 megabytes. This is some Tiny Linux here, and so let's go ahead and choose Save File. That's going to save it. We'll go back to our command line here. Now I'm in home student ISO folder and it downloaded it to the downloads folder. So let's do a CP dot dot slash downloads. And let's see what's in downloads. Core current dot ISO is what it's called. Now I'm going to put a dot because we want to copy it from downloads core current dot ISO to the dot, which is right here. Do an LS, you'll see we've got the core current dot ISO. Let's create a folder to mount this ISO. So I'm going to do MKDIR. Let's just call it MNT. So here I am in ISO folder, and I have a folder called MNT. That's a common one that you'll see at the root of the file system. The very root, we have an MNT folder. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount, and it's going to be hyphen O loop core current dot ISO. We're going to mount it to the MNT directory, like so. And it tells me that this is right protected because CD-ROMs are right protected. It's El Torito. But we can read what's in there. So let's CD into the MNT directory to an LS. And you can see that we have a boot folder. So if I LS in there, we've got Core GZ, we've got ISO Linux, um, and we've got a series of files here. This is a very tiny Linux distribution. But the idea is anytime we find a .iso file, it can always be mounted to a folder because it is a file system just like any other. Awesome. So um, here's what the challenge is going to be at this point. And if you're in my class, this will be credit. So check this out. So this will be checkpoint three, video five, create a partition file system within the unallocated space for SDB. That dev sdb that we worked with at the very beginning half of that is still unallocated so create a partition there put a file system on it and use the df command to demonstrate to the instructor that dev sdb1 is mounted on a folder and we should also see the dev sdb2 whatever the number is is mounted on another folder so if we see that when i run cf disk dev sdb we can see that we have this free space create a second partition, mount it in another folder, that'll be for credit.